Are you curious about the role of silver in today's market and what makes it a valuable asset to own? Look no further, because in this video, we'll be diving deep into the fascinating world of the silver standard. From its historical significance as a currency to its modern-day uses in various industries, we'll explore everything you need to know about this precious metal. So grab your favorite snack, sit back, and let's uncover the mysteries behind the shimmering silver. What exactly is the silver standard? Essentially, the silver standard is a monetary system that was used in the past to determine the value of a country's currency. It was used in many countries, including the United States, until the early 20th century. Under the silver standard, a country's currency was directly tied to the amount of silver it had in reserve. The more silver a country had, the stronger its currency was considered to be. So why does this matter in today's market? Well, even though we no longer use the silver standard as a monetary system, silver still holds significant value in today's economy. In fact, it's often considered a safe haven asset, meaning it's viewed as a reliable store of value in times of economic uncertainty. This is because the demand for silver is driven by a variety of factors, including industrial use, jewelry production, and investment demand. I want to remind you to check out the link in the video description below. It's packed with useful resources and information about investing in silver that you don't want to miss. So take a quick break and head on over there now. Now that we have a better understanding of what the silver standard is, let's explore the historical significance of silver as a currency and its role in the global economy. Silver has been used as a form of currency for thousands of years, dating back to ancient civilizations such as the Greeks, Romans, and Chinese. In fact, the word money comes from the Latin word moneta, which means mint. This word was derived from the name of the Roman goddess Juno Moneta, who was the patron goddess of money. During the Middle Ages, silver became the primary currency in Europe, and the silver standard was widely used. Merchants and traders would use silver coins to conduct business, and the value of silver became a universal standard for trade. In the 16th century, Spanish conquistadors discovered vast deposits of silver in the Americas, which led to the rise of the Spanish Empire and the widespread use of silver in international trade. The silver peso, a coin made of 92.5% silver, became the standard currency used in trade between Europe and the Americas. Moving forward to the 19th and early 20th centuries, many countries, including the United States, used the silver standard as their monetary system. However, the silver standard was eventually replaced by the gold standard, which was considered more stable and reliable. Today, while silver is no longer used as a primary form of currency, it remains an important part of the global economy. The demand for silver is driven by a variety of factors, including industrial use in electronics and solar panels, jewelry production, and investment demand. So, the value of silver, like any other commodity, is determined by the forces of supply and demand. The supply of silver is influenced by a variety of factors, including mining production, government stockpiling, and recycling. On the other hand, the demand for silver is driven by various industries, such as electronics, solar panels, and jewelry production. One of the most significant factors affecting the demand for silver is its industrial use. Silver has unique properties that make it ideal for use in various industries. For example, its high thermal and electrical conductivity make it an essential component in electronics and solar panels. The demand for silver in these industries is expected to increase in the future as the world becomes more reliant on technology and renewable energy. Another factor that influences the demand for silver is investment demand. Many investors consider silver to be a safe haven asset, especially during times of economic uncertainty. This means that demand for silver as an investment tends to increase during times of market volatility or inflation. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on precious metals and investing. It helps us out a lot and ensures that you never miss an update. Now let's talk about the supply side of the equation. The primary source of silver is mining production. The top three silver-producing countries in the world are Mexico, Peru, and China. The supply of silver can also be influenced by government stockpiling and recycling. Some governments hold strategic stockpiles of silver to use in times of emergency, which can affect the overall supply and demand balance. 
Recycling is another important source of silver supply. Silver can be found in various products, such as electronic devices and jewelry. As these products reach the end of their useful life, they can be recycled, and the silver can be extracted and used again. Now, let's delve deeper into the various uses of silver in modern industries and how this affects the demand for silver. Silver has many unique properties that make it a versatile metal with a wide range of applications. One of the most significant uses of silver is in the technology industry. Silver is an excellent conductor of electricity and heat, making it an essential component in electronic devices such as smartphones, computers, and televisions. Without silver, the electronics industry would not be where it is today. But silver's uses go beyond just electronics. Silver is also used in the medical industry due to its antibacterial properties. Silver nanoparticles can be used in wound dressings and medical implants to prevent infection and promote healing. In addition, silver is used in water purification systems to kill bacteria and viruses, making it an essential component in maintaining clean water supplies. Silver is becoming increasingly important in renewable energy technologies such as solar panels. The use of silver in solar panels is driven by its high conductivity and durability, making it ideal for use in harsh outdoor environments. As the world becomes more focused on renewable energy, the demand for silver in this industry is expected to increase. In addition to these industries, silver is also used in the production of jewelry, coins and silverware. Many people enjoy investing in physical silver, whether it be in the form of coins, bars, or jewelry. Like any other commodity, the price of silver is subject to supply and demand forces. In recent years, the silver market has seen some interesting trends. In 2020, the price of silver reached its highest level in seven years, driven by a combination of factors such as global economic uncertainty and the demand for safe haven assets. However, in early 2021, the price of silver experienced a significant decline. This was largely due to a spike in the price of the GameStop stock, which caused some investors sell off their silver holdings in order to cover their losses. This event highlights the interconnectedness of different markets and the impact that one market can have on another. But despite this short-term volatility, the long-term outlook for silver remains positive. The demand for silver in various industries, such as electronics and renewable energy, is expected to increase in the coming years. In addition, silver is often seen as a hedge against inflation and a safe haven asset during times of economic uncertainty, which can further support its price. It's also worth noting that the silver market is subject to fluctuations due to mining production and government stockpiling. Changes in mining production levels or shifts in government policies regarding stockpiling can affect the overall supply and demand balance of silver and subsequently impact its price. So, if you're considering investing in silver, it's essential to keep an eye on the market trends and to do your research before making any decisions. However, with its wide range of uses and its potential as a safe haven asset, silver can be a valuable addition to any investment portfolio. The best part is there are lots of ways to invest in it, including physical silver, silver ETFs, and mining stocks. For those who prefer tangible investments, physical silver in the form of coins or bars can be a great option. Not only is it a valuable asset, but it also has the added benefit of being a collectible item for some. Physical silver can be purchased from reputable dealers or online platforms and stored in a secure location such as a safe or a bank vault. Another option for investing in silver is through Exchange Traded Funds ETFs. These funds are designed to track the price of silver and offer investors exposure to the commodity without the need for physical ownership. Silver ETFs can be traded on major stock exchanges, making them a convenient and accessible investment option. Finally, investors can also consider investing in silver mining stocks. These stocks represent ownership in companies involved in the exploration, extraction, and production of silver. Investing in silver mining stocks can offer investors the potential for capital appreciation and dividend income, but it also carries risks associated with the mining industry, such as fluctuating commodity prices and environmental concerns. It's essential to note that each investment option comes with its own set of risks and benefits, and it's important to do thorough research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Thanks for tuning in, fellow silver enthusiasts.
We hope you enjoyed learning about the various aspects of the silver standard, from its historical significance to its modern-day uses and investment opportunities. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on precious metals and investing. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. In our next video, we'll be exploring how the financial crisis of 2008 changed investment strategies and led to the rise of gold. So stay tuned for that, and don't forget to join the conversation in the comments section below.